Well, calling all sky gazers, and we're not talking about what's behind us. Something new will be lighting up the night sky this month. Yeah, CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Rachel Dunsing tells us about a comet that hasn't been seen in a long time. Less than one year ago, a comet, now called C 2022 E3 ZTF, was discovered. And it's been a while since this comet was seen by human eyes. It hasn't been around for a long time. The last time it came around Earth was about 50,000 years ago. Doug Lively with the Raleigh Astronomy Club says the discovery of this comet not only gives us something cool to look at in the night sky, but it can help us learn more about what space was like near the beginning. When we study those materials and everything, we get Get a really good idea of what our the nature of our solar system was in the early days. So if you want to see the comet for yourself, find yourself a nice open view of the sky, like this open field. And while you can see it with just your open eye, it's best to see it with binoculars. And finding the comet in the dark night sky should actually be pretty simple. Starting around January 26th, just look for two groups of stars many of us are familiar with. Look at that corridor that's between the Little Dipper and the Big Dipper. You should see a green dot that's, uh, that's not been there before. That green dot is the comet millions of miles away from Earth. It might not look like others you've seen, but it is worth seeing. And when you do see it, you can feel linked to the past and the future. Our ancient ancestors, Neanderthals, probably saw this comet 50,000 years ago. So there is kind of that connection with our past. Uh, it, we won't see it again for 50,000 years. Who knows who will be looking at it when it comes back around at that time. In Cary, meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.